Hi everyone, I'm Pinaki and I shall be presenting our paper What can human sketches do for object detection? In this paper, we aim to explore the innate properties of human drawn sketches for the fundamental vision task of object detection. Object detection has been there for over two decades with work as early as 2001 by Viola et al. This traditional object detection pipeline were later replaced by deep learning based framework that brought with it improved performance but with an increased data annotation cost. Such heavy annotation cost became the focus of the next wave of literature with weekly supervised object detection requiring only image level labels or no bounding box annotation. Despite this tremendous progress in object detection, something is missing, subjectivity. For long, object detection frameworks would detect anything and everything in its known set of classes, users should be able to specify that information they want their models to detect, unlike existing detectors that catch everything and ask end users to filter the relevant regions. This is where Sketch comes into the picture. It is this high expressivity and ability to provide subjective and fine-grained visual cues that enable a wide range of object detection tasks. It allows instance-aware object detection. You draw a zebra and detect only that zebra that matches your sketch. Or you can sketch the head region of a particular zebra uh, and the object detector will detect only that part, thereby making object detectors part-aware. And since sketches are inherently expressive and creative, we want our object detectors to work zero-shot and not just be limited to categories seen during training. To put in contrast, let's see the difference to traditional object detection pipelines. Traditional object detectors will detect everything that is too much information for end users. It works only for category level, while some object detectors can use conditions like input text to specify what to detect, it is limited by how fine-grained can you express via text. Sketch can not only specify the instance, but can also specify the part that is part of our object detection is out of vocabulary or out of scope for traditional object detectors. Unlike traditional object detectors, ours on the other hand do not need such bounding box annotation or scene photo itself. A small scale uh, sketch cut of photo pair is enough. Now let's see some demos. A human draws an input sketch. Given this sketch, our network computes a confidence score for each proposal. Think of it as a probability of that blue proposal being the correct box for the sketch. We increase the threshold WK to filter low confidence boxes. Finally, we are left with about 7 to 10 overlapping boxes. We then apply non-maximum suppression to get the final box. Unlike previous slide where we matched categories, we can also use our method to score proposal based on instance of our matching and apply the same trick to filter boxes and get final prediction. Note. We did not have to invent a new framework for this task, but the same generalizes to multitude of object detection tasks. To prove my point, let's conduct a quick human study. How would you specify that part of that giraffe? Would it be easier to write a textual description or simply draw it? For example, you want to describe that giraffe with legs 90 degrees apart drinking water that is quite cumbersome via text. A quick sketch can go a long way. Here, we use the same framework without any changes to make it work for part level. Now, of course, part level object detection is quite new and challenging. Hence, we show a failure case of the proposed method. We hope future research would ex further explore more fine grained part of our object detection setup without using heavy annotation to make object detections work for you and me. That is subjective. This novel object detection setup requires us to solve three broad challenges this is, of course, a data set. No one wants to collect or sketch every object in VOC or MS Coco just to build a new sketch based object detection method. Second, we need to design a framework to detect objects given a query sketch. Third, we want our new framework to be zero shot. That is, we want these object detectors to detect even for unseen sketches. First, see how we can train an object sketch guided object detector without collecting a new data set. For this, we introduce a new setup called Extremely Weakly Supervised Setup. To recap, supervised setup includes bounding box annotation and class labels or a quick sketch. A weakly supervised setup does not require bounding box annotation but only class labels of sketch of object in the photo. 
An extremely weakly supervised setup does not require the scene image but can learn from a different small scale data set of sketch photo pairs. We use existing sketch photo data set like Sketchy and adapt this model trained on object level sketch photo pairs to work for scene level photos. To bridge the object level representation learned in the extremely weakly supervised setup and scene level representation required for inference, we introduce styling. All the technically similar to cut mix, a popular tool among object detection researchers for data augmentation, tiling has a different motivation. Unlike the data augmentation tool cut mix, tiling is a data synthesis tool. Please read our paper for more details. Next, we see how to combine sketch with object detection. Given an input photo, we can use selective search, edge boxes, or region proposal to generate 1000 object proposals. Next, we use a pre-trained generalized sketch-based image retrieval method along with the query sketch to compute the cosine similarity of each proposal with query sketch. Finally, we filter low confidence boxes by increasing WK. We show some quantitative performance of our method. Next, we would want our sketch guided object detection to work zero shot or open vocabulary setup. To recap, sketch based image retrieval uses a triplet loss to lower the paired sketch photo distance, whereas increase the distance between unpaired sketch photos. Clip, on the other hand, is a popular model that is trained on web scale 400 million data sets that provides this open vocabulary knowledge which will help our model to work zero shot. We adapt a Clip for a generalized sketch based image retrieval using prompt learning. Prompt learning basically adds a learnable vector as input alongside sketch photo. We learn this prompt via back propagation and it helps clip to adapt to sketches. Thank you for your time. Please scan the QR code or go to pinakinatsi.me slash sketch hyphen detect. Hope you have a good day.